All right, this is going to be more of a behind the scenes type video, mainly discussing how the off video was formatted and how it changed over time. I won't solve the intro very long, so let's just get to it. The first thing I should probably mention are the stats of the run. I started the run sometime in mid-October and finished the run on November 28th. I know this because the end date was in the script when I beat Sugar, but because I had no footage for me beating Sugar, I had to cut it out of the video. Funnily enough, the, the attempt I beat it was the last attempt I would have done regardless, as I was so demotivated at Sugar, I just kind of gave up. Also, while on the topic of Sugar, you may have heard it at the end of the video, I mentioned I used items during Sugar. I actually used Malacha's Me to cure Palsy because, well, it's Palsy. I was also going to put in the script that Sugar was a sort of culmination of all three of the main components of the run, sort of being an ultimate final boss for this challenge, but I realized she didn't have very much patience compared to Enoch. I also kind of lied in the script as I didn't actually know what Enoch introduced while I was starting the run. It just kind of took form after a few attempts, not that major. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. When I beat this challenge, my entire party was only level 36, and you might still be able to go for a much lower level if you have some godly RNG. I feel like if this run is a testament to anything, it's a testament it's a testament to how broken the level progression system is in this game. Because the max level is 50, and it requires about a million XP to get there, which is just as absurd as it sounds, considering the highest amount you'll get when grinding for levels is only 10.5k. I also never mentioned this, but I made an alt file for testing purposes, but I never got to use it as I made it on the same day I beat Sugar on. Also, this video took a long time to edit. The video came out on the 2nd of January, which was over a month of editing. I really didn't edit very often, only doing it about every other day, but I feel like when I did edit, I did a pretty good job. Also, I was trying to get the video out before the new year, but I had to spend a few days at my grandparents' house, and I forgot to bring my headphones so I couldn't edit. It's a shame too, because I only had the music and thumbnail left, meaning I could have easily got done it in the, in the time frame. Sorry the vid took so long, but I really wasn't keeping anyone waiting because I didn't have the channel even created yet, and I didn't announce it to anyone on social media. Also, if you're wondering what I got from Zachary when I got all five grand items, I got nothing. I said I had to beat the game with all five grand items, and getting the bad or the space him card consumes the items, making the run invalid. Pretty minor detail, but I forgot to put it in the script. One last thing is that I was originally going to share this screenshot of my channel as kind of foreshadowing for my next video. You can see my tabs open are some tabs on Bill J. Clark, who is going to be the topic of my next video, but I realized while researching this, some people made some much better videos on him, and I would highly recommend you watch those instead. As for what my next vid on the J-Bone channel will be, I will likely be posting a tutorial on how to P-Rank P2 in Ultra Kill, as I found a pretty consistent strategy that should work for most people. See you hopefully when the video releases, and bye.